At the Club Alpino Italiano's Regina Margherita Refuge, the highest in Europe at 4,554 meters on Monte Rosa, an innovative solar heating system has been installed. It was designed and patented by the Joint Research Center of the EEC. Let's see how it was designed and how it works. Innovative Solar Thermal System. The Joint Research Center works in scientific and technical fields and operates on four sites. At Gale in Belgium, the main office for nuclear measurements. At Peten in Holland, the headquarters of the Institute of Advanced Materials. At Karlsruhe in Germany, the Transuranics Institute. At Ispra in Italy, there are the following institutes. Systems Engineering, Computer Engineering, Environment, Remote Sensing, Safety Technology, Technological Prospects, and lastly, the Institute for the Study of Advanced Materials. At ISPRA, research is also carried out on renewable energy, with particular emphasis on the better use of solar energy. Recently, a group has designed and patented an innovative system of solar heating, particularly suitable for mountain refuges. One of the main design criteria of the plant was that it should work in complete isolation without any need for an electric power supply. The prototype of the heat transport system developed at ISPRA worked very successfully there, enabling all the data on its working efficiency to be gathered. One of its features is that it will work with the collectors in a higher position than the water tank, without a pump and therefore without electric power. The system's efficiency was also compared with that of the traditional system, using non-polluting thermo-refrigeration fluids for the heat exchanger. During the development of the system, a method of remote data monitoring was established, using a modem and a telephone line which could also be employed by a user. The remote monitoring system enables the constant control of the system 24 hours a day and enables a complete picture of its working to be established. Here is a brief graphic description of how this solar heating plant works. When heated by the sun rays, the system fluid evaporates and passes into the heat exchanger situated in the boiler. Here it surrenders its heat to the water, raising the temperature. On losing heat, the gas becomes liquid again, and by means of a float valve with double control and an auxiliary vessel, this liquid is returned to the solar collectors, and the cycle can restart without the need to pump or to use a heat controller. The results obtained with this plant are praiseworthy and a clear demonstration of technical progress, using materials which formerly would have been unsuitable for service at low temperatures and high humidity. Here is a graphic illustration of the differences between the traditional system needing pumps and a powered control panel and the simplicity of the innovative solar plant patented by the ISPRA Research Center. In line with its European nature, the ISPRA Center has made the system available for construction and assembly by licensees throughout the European community. Production and distribution to users have already started, giving life to a joint effort at a European level, covering all aspects of manufacturing and distribution. In Portugal, the license has been awarded to the Fogao Sol Company, and in Italy to Colucci and Chie at Biella. The testing of all plants is carried out with the assistance of the technical staff of the ISPRA Research Center. This gives greater guarantees to users. Amongst the tests requiring most care are those of the closures controlled by the float valve and by the check valve.
special attention must be paid to the testing of the circuit sealing. This is done by putting it under vacuum. Once the seal is verified, the charge of system fluid is introduced and pressure testing is carried out using a leak tester. The working test follows, with the measurement and analysis of temperatures at fixed points in the circuit. Despite the concept that the system is for use in remote areas where electric power is unavailable, the solar plant has been used for other purposes, like heating domestic premises without spoiling the view. The plant has already been put into use in the industrial field with excellent results. The solar collectors, if positioned correctly, do not spoil the environment and are a symbol of clean energy. The plant, already assembled in the factory, can be transported to the refuge by helicopter. We follow the transport of a plant to the Omia refuge at 2,100 meters in the Val Masino. The solar heating system has already made a precious contribution to life in the mountains. The production of water from snow, the supply of hot water, the heating of rooms in refuges and bivouacs, and the heating of sewage treatment systems to enable them to work. During August 1989, a plant was installed at the Nifetti Refuge at 3,647 meters above sea level on Monte Rosa. The plant comprises six square meters of collectors and a boiler of 250 cubic decimeters. Once positioned, it was charged with fluid, ready to operate under the severe environmental conditions at that altitude. It went straight into service, supplying hot water to the kitchen. Another plant has been installed in the Val d'Aosta at the Deface Refuge at 2,494 meters, much used by climbers and tourists. The large numbers using the refuge in recent decades have contaminated the adjacent areas and a remedy is necessary. The intention is to install a treatment plant for organic waste to eliminate the problem. This new automatic system needs an adequate digester temperature to ensure growth and effective action by the bacteria on the organic material to be broken down. The treatment plant which we can see being installed has been working since June 1992. It works automatically thanks to the heat supplied by the solar heating system. Even out of season when the refuge is closed, the solar heating system will heat the winter rooms automatically and without using power. Moreover, a further major step is in store for this new discovery from Ispra its use on the top of Monte Rosa at 4,554 meters to serve the Regina Margherita refuge. It is 11 o'clock on the 2nd of July 1992, just above Alagna, and all is ready for the lift. Adesso ti mando sull'impianto solare. For the last two hours, the radio reports bad visibility at the Regina Margherita refuge and the Nifetti huts. Dense clouds threaten the valley, and clear weather seems impossible.
the crew that should film the unloading of the plant on the crest can hardly see the refuge through the clouds. There it is. Worse luck, we have to give up. Three p.m. After another failed attempt, a slight clearing allows another try. This is it. Three thirty p.m. From the crest, they signal that the helicopter and load are in sight. In the space of a few minutes, the solar heating system is placed next to the highest refuge in Europe. The technicians from the Ispra Research Centre have also reached the top of Monte Rosa to test the system and to verify its functioning at high altitude. Shortly afterwards, the solar energy dissolves the first charge of snow and a second charge is prepared. The solar heating system is working well, and the refuge can now count on hot water supplies. The financial support for the spread and use of this system, like others of the EEC research centres, is arranged by Value of General Direction 13, programme for the diffusion and use of the results of scientific and technological research. Around the Regina Margherita refuge, you can see the entire alpine range with a myriad of peaks of incomparable beauty. A goal for nature lovers. The automatic solar system serving the refuge will improve its services for the benefit of users. The designers have finished their installation and tests and returned to the valley. Up here, what they have left is the fruit of EEC research, which on the roof of the old Europe is a symbol of our long-awaited unity.